Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn about residual sum of square or error sum of square dear scholars for the better understanding of the residual sum of square you have to learn regression analysis and how can uh, you find the coefficient of regression analysis you have a well understanding and then with the help of these coefficient you have to find and error term and from this error term you can find the residual sum of square so the process you have to understand then you can understand the residual sum of square easily okay for the uh, for the explanation of uh, uh, residual sum of square first we will discuss about the principle of least square the principle of least square consists of determining the values for the unknown parameters that will minimize the sum of squares of error or residual where errors are defined as the difference between observed value and the corresponding value uh, or you can say that predicted or estimated by the fitted model equation. The parameters values that uh, determined will give us the least some of the squares of errors and are known as the least square estimates uh, or you can say that the minimization of uh, uh, squared of deviation so what is done to minimize the sum of the residual sum of square so the reason that the sum of uh, square uh, distance is minimized is rather than if uh, if you have a estimated regression line here so see here some of uh, values are uh, above the estimated regression line and some of the values are, are below the re estimated regression line so they will diminish each other and we find a minimum and sometimes a zero uh, error term so here we have uh, 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 for, uh, an example for finding the sum of error that is a close to zero as possible some points will lie above the line while some uh, some other lies below it then uh, uh, the sum of uh, uh, we made the sum of uh, the error that is very close to zero or uh, sometimes it is a z it is exact zero that is a possible is firm the points above the line would count as a positive value and while the uh, points which are uh, below the estimated regression line we call it a no normally they are considered negative so these distances will in a large part cancel each other out which would mean that one could fit a virtually that line to the data so long as the sum of the distance of the point above the line and sum of the distance of the point below the line where uh, were the same. In that case, there would be not to a unique solution for estimated coefficients. So, in fact, any fitted line that goes through the mean of the observed uh, values, or you can say the ob uh, uh, observations of uh, x bar and y bar, would set the sum of the error is equal to zero. However, taking the square distance ensures that all the deviation that enters the calculation are positive uh, and therefore do not cancel out they not uh, the squared value uh, do not cancel each other so they uh, they uh, they actually present the actual deviation in our data okay least square estimate and simple regression let we have a uh, uh, two variables and we are talking about the simple regression so that's why we have x i independent variable and y i dependent variable and i you know that number of observation one two three so on and where x are are independent variable are predetermined value where and uh, y are uh, randomly uh, random variable that is drawn from a population the observed value of y may be expressed in the linear form of population parameter as we have a y i is equal to uh, alpha plus beta i uh, x i plus e i here e i is our uh, error term which is normally a whiteness error term 
which will be discussed in in coming session when we are talking about uh, the properties of the array term or the assumptions of the array term as the same time okay here uh, for the sample case we have a regression line y i is equal to uh, alpha plus beta i plus u i here uh, when we are talking about the uh, sample case we have an estimated regression line like we had uh, y hat sorry here uh, in both cases alpha and beta are the parameters of the regression line and and when we are talking about the population regression line we have an expected value of y like that we can write it like that but when we have a sample case we have a sorry this is not a y have we write it up y had estimated okay least care estimate in the simple regression the best regression line is the one which minimize the sum of the squares of the vertical deviation between the observed y and the corresponding values of the predicted uh, estimated regression line so here keep it in mind that if we have an estimated regression line and we have some uh, actual point are here so these distances will be minimized then we can say that our regression line is a good fit so best for the best regression line the the vertical distance between observed and estimated regression line should be minimum so here we have y hat uh, is equal to alpha plus beta x i so for the error term so when we are uh, we want to find the error term we have a formula for the error term y is equal to actual minus estimated so these dot lines are the are actual value and this straight line is our estimated regression line okay for for the error sum of residual scale you have to write it as uh, u i is equal to y minus alpha minus beta x i so include the sigma uh, sign for the equation here we can write it a uh, uh, summation u i and summation y minus y minus alpha minus beta x i so taking the square of the both side we get we get uh, ut square and uh, uh, y minus alpha minus beta x i whole square so this is our residual sum of square line so this is known as the residual sum of square so here we have another graphical presentation so this is our estimated regression line as i highlight in in this graph also this is our estimated regression line and the distance between this estimated and actual this is our error term and this is our expected value this is our estimated and this is known as expected value of sorry alpha plus beta x i which we highlighted in previous slide as well so we actually want to reduce the distance this is our vertical distance from our estimated to actual we want to minimize this distance this distance this distance and sometimes some values exact lie on the estimated regression line here we have some formulation or you can say that the empirical uh, example how you find uh, the residual sum of square we have a regression line y is equal to alpha plus beta x so first we have to uh, give the formulation for the beta beta is equal to n summation x y minus summation x y summation x summation y divided by 
एंड समेशन एक्स स्केयर माइनस समेशन एक्स होल स्केयर एंड एन अदर फार्मूला फॉर द बीटा एंड हेयर वी हैव अ फार्मूलाज फॉर द एल्फा और ए एंड एन अदर फार्मूला फॉर द एल्फा सो हेयर वी हैव एन इम्फिजिकल एग्जाम्पल फॉर फाइंडिंग द रेजिडुअल सम ऑफ स्केयर सो इफ यू हैव अ a dependent variable y and independent variable x you first find the estimated y and for that you have to find uh, alpha a constant value and a slope value and then put these values here let, let's say you find a 0.5 alpha and plus 0.6 beta and x suppose x so you put the value of this x and get the estimated regression line values and then you can subtract this estimated regression line regression value from this actual value and you find sum of positive value and sum of negative value and they will be cancel out because the main assumption shows that sum of the error term is equal to 0 or uh, we can say that it must not must it should be equal to 0 sometime we find it exact 0 but it should be as equal to 0 near to 0 or equal to 0 and when we take the square of this we find the residual sum of square and the main aim of uh, the residual sum of square as we have highlighted in the previous uh, slides also that uh, uh, the as much minimum value of the residual sum of square as much regression line or estimated regression line is correct or best so we have to Um, uh, we have uh, uh, we can say that the main aim of the regression line is also to minimize sum of residual sum of square residual sum of square error sum of square so this is uh, the main target of the regression line to minimize the residual sum of square okay that's all about the rss we can call it a residual sum of square so see you with another video ciao